Hi, so your radon mitigation has gone well and you have run your pipe from the basement to the attic and now you need to finish running your pipe out your roof. The thought of cutting a hole in one's roof can strike fear in the hearts of homeowners. For obvious reasons. Let's see how we can do this so you won't have to worry about leaks after you fix your radon levels. Please only try to do this if you have the proper safety equipment, including fall protection. This will definitely go smoother if you have a second person to help you, one on the roof and one in the attic with the fan. To get the center of your hole, plumb bob up from the middle of your fan and put a nail through the roof. Mark the outline with chalk on the shingles. Then cut along the line or a little outside for 4 inch pipe and inside the line for 3 inch pipe. Using a sawzall, start cutting shallow and allow the blade to punch through and then bring the saw upright and cut out your circle. On this particular roof, there is nearly no slope so we can stick close to our circle. Next, using a flat bar, sweep from side to side to loosen the top shingles from the one below it. Do this carefully to avoid ripping the shingles. So next, you want to slide your flashing up and cut either with a pair of snips or a roofing knife around the top of the flashing. This will allow it to line up with your hole. Then be sure to remove any nails that will be in the way. Remember we remove them so that you can caulk the holes later. Then with a roofing knife, follow the curve you cut to remove the layer of shingle that your flashing will slide up into. Keep in mind that shingles that are cold and frozen can make this difficult. So we will use a bucket of hot water to melt and thaw the area of shingles we are going to be working with when we do this in the winter time. So the smarter thing to do is just wait till things warm up and everything melts before you do your work. With the spot for the flashing ready, now caulk around the hole. Measure from the top of your fan to the top of the shingles and then add 12 inches. It's code to have your radon pipe exhaust 12 inches above your roof. Then slide your flashing onto the pipe from the top to the bottom. In warm weather this is easy but in cold weather this can be difficult. Try warming the flashing up to make this go smoother when it's cold out. Then slide the flashing up into place and then spin the pipe down till it reaches the fan. Spinning it will help the rubber gasket not to get bunched up. Then insert the pipe into the coupling on the top of your fan and tighten the coupling. You then want to lift up each side of the flashing and put a bead of caulk down it. Then put a roofing nail on both sides of the flashing. and put a bead of caulk on the tops of the nails to seal them.
Then be sure to caulk down the shingles that you had pried up. Then do the same for the line of nails at the bottom of the flashing. Now, if you got a varmint guard for your system, now would be the time to put it on. We just use a little bit of caulk to secure it to the pipe. Next, we spray paint it with a black PVC paint. This will also help to warm up the pipe in the winter time. If it ever gets frozen over, it'll help to melt it. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for future content on radon mitigation. And if you have any questions on a do-it-yourself radon mitigation, uh, you can go to our websites at indoorairhealthadvisor.com and shopradon.com and you can find the links to these websites in the descriptions below. Thank you and have a good day.